Robertson has already won the MAC in soccer. Reynolds has the second spot in the MAC 4A for the playoffs. So nothing really at stake tonight when they met, except everything really. Pride. Rockets would love to knock off their rivals and had them at home. About halfway through the first half, Robertson attacking. Rockets defender Gabe Parrish inadvertently touches the ball with his hand in the box. Rams get a penalty kick, and Jonah Hodes takes it for the Rams, and he will nail it. Upper right corner, just like that, one nothing Robertson. Moments later, Reynolds on the move. Check out Hector Gutierrez has the ball, and look at the moves here. He'll fire, but what a save by Kevin Rash. Wow. And then the rebound comes out, just a hair high, still one nothing. But right before the half a minute left, Reynolds on the throw in. Ball in front of the goal. Check out Gutierrez. What a shot. Little flick there. One to one. High game. Last play first half. Robertson on the corner. The ball will be brought in. Then kicked out. Anthony O'Brien scorches it to the net. But look at Eric Linhart. What a save. That keeps the game tied. But Robertson scores two in the second half. And they win it three to one. Here's how the rankings look for this week in the NCSCA poll. Robertson is 10th in 4A, 18 now 19 and 2. East Henderson is 7th in 3A. In 2A, Owen still remains number one. They've only had one loss in the year. And in 1A, Thomas Jefferson is number six. In the private school poll, you have Christ School at number seven in 3A and Asheville Christian Academy number seven in 2A. And Brevard College Cycling is becoming like, well, the New York Yankees of their sport. Sunday in New Mexico, Brevard won its third Division II Collegiate Mountain Bike National Championship in the last four years. Cypress Gorey captured individual national championships in both the men's cross country and short track events. Lewis Gaffney came in second in the men's cross country event. Congratulations, that is a heck of an accomplishment.